everyone, my name is Sarah, a year 2 student currently pursuing a diploma in engineering science in the School of Engineering and you're watching Of Course NP, where I'll be showing you what a day in the life of an NP student in my course is like. Let's go! Okay, so to start things off, I usually grab a cup of coffee in school before I start classes and today I only have uh, one lesson which is a lab session for my materials and manufacturing technology module which is from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. I'm at the workshop today and we are currently having a practical lesson for our materials and manufacturing technology module. In this module, we learn how engineering materials are chosen for components and basic knowledge and skills of manufacturing processes that are involved. Right now, our instructor is teaching us how to mark sheet metal using some of the tools given to us. After the demonstration, we have to replicate the product using techniques taught, making sure to follow the exact dimensions of the sample product. I was a little lost at this part, so I asked my instructor if I was making the product in the correct steps. The lab instructors and lecturers in NP are extremely approachable, and I am never afraid to ask them questions when I have them. This is what I have completed at the end of the lesson. So class has just ended and I'm feeling a little bit hungry so I'm gonna head off to food club to grab a snack before I head off to my next location. Right now, I'm headed to the Engineering Science Centre where I can do my own self-study. Okay, so now I'm at the Engineering Science Centre where I'll be conducting my own self-study. So as you can see, there are a lot of tables and chairs over here as well as charging ports if we ever need to charge our own laptops while studying. Not only that, there are also soldering stations and various components that we can use over here if we need to use them for our projects. Now, I'm going to head into one of the rooms to work on my projects. Now that I have a little bit more time, I'll just talk about why I decided to choose engineering science. So back in secondary school, I really enjoyed studying mathematics and physics and I knew I wanted a career in which I could create products. As engineering science is an engineering course that focuses a lot on research and design, I decided to put it as my first choice. Engineering science students are also given the opportunity to take up university modules at SUTD while in Polytechnic, giving us an edge in our freshman year if we decide to pursue our education there. Although I haven't been yet, I'm very excited to start on one of the modules during the holidays. As an engineering science student, I take modules that help build and strengthen my knowledge of science, programming, and software development. Such skills are necessary for undertaking R&D tasks which I will embark on in my final year project or my future internship. For instance, this semester, I'm also taking Physics 1, an integrated world work project. For Physics 1, I get to learn about forces and energy. This module challenges us to use mathematical concepts like calculus to solve problems in the physical world. In my integrated real-world project tree module, I learn useful skills such as microcontroller coding and app building. An example of a microcontroller is this Arduino I'm working with right here. I can code some instructions onto it and then it will perform the functions I have uploaded onto it. Right now, I'm working on my project for a presentation coming up soon. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed a day in my life. Tell us in the comments which course you would like to see next. Now, I'll be heading home to work on my project. Bye!